And only on 13, two more women are speaking out tonight, joining a third about bold thieves who snatched their purses and ran off. Yeah, detectives are now investigating possible connections between those three cases. And tonight they're sharing the same advice with our Crime Beat reporter Steve Jefferson to help keep other women safe as well. With two of the thefts happening here in the Aldi's parking lot, that warning from the victims couldn't come soon enough, especially if the suspect is out looking for his next victim. I raised five children by myself and I worked hard. Donna, a grandmother who had never been a victim of crime until now, showed Eyewitness News how a purse snatcher got away with her belongings while loading groceries in her SUV. It was right here, and that thing came right up behind me and got it. It happened last month at this South Emerson Avenue Aldi's. They got me big time. I had some money and some gift cards and a charge card which I don't expect to get any of that back. When Donna saw Kristen on Eyewitness News sharing her experience at the same store. And then started scratching me. Um, and then again, accelerated through the parking lot. At that point in time, I was able to get my purse. Donna immediately suspected it's the same thief. And so does Alana, who had her purse snatched inside this East 10th Street Dollar Tree store. I mean, that's ridiculous. I mean, that's... It's earned money, you know, I have a, I'm a single mom and I need my money that I need to take care of my child and it's ridiculous that they're just going out here stealing people's stuff. The suspects made a getaway in a Volkswagen Jetta like this one, according to witnesses. Kristen told police the man who attacked her was also in a Jetta. Now, as police look for connections in all three cases, the victims say they don't want this to happen to any other women. Just watch your back at all times, honestly. Because, I mean, I had my back turned the whole entire time it happened. But I just hope to be able to help someone else from going through it. I just, it's, it's just devastating. In addition to not wanting this to happen to anyone else, the women fear someone getting critically injured or worse. If you can help, call Crime Stoppers. The telephone number is 262-TIPS. On the Crime Beat, I'm Steve Jefferson. Back to you in the studio.